The country continues to celebrate Freedom Day today. Many still contend that the gains have been rather slow and these voices come mainly from the Labour side. With us in studio now is Mr. Dennis George, the Secretary General of FEDUSA. Now the union has been demanding answers from the public investment company, the PIC, on their members' pensions. Mr. George, happy Freedom Day. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. <laughs> All right. Have you made any progress with the PIC? Are the people going to get their monies? Yes, look, what we must understand is that the uh, pension fund money is in the public investment corporation. Mm -hmm. Those members belong to a defined benefit fund. In other words, the fund determines how much you will get when you go on pension. Mm -hmm. And therefore, even if there's a crisis of a much more bigger magnitude than what was with Steinhoff, you know, it will not even make a blip on the whole issue. But what is important for us is to promote good corporate governance. Mm. That we want to make sure that people that serve on the boards of state-owned companies and of companies like Steinhoff, those people must be people with ethical leadership, must be people that is responsible, and that is people that re, um, respond positively to job creation and to growing the economy. Mm. But if people are just going to go on those boards to enrich themselves, at the expense of the masses, then that's going to be a serious challenge. Mm, have you got those answers from the PC? Yes, we, what are they I've, I've, we have the big protest last week mm -hmm. um, at the AGM of the, uh, PI, of the um, sign off. And then after the AGM, I had a meeting with the chairperson of the board of sign off that's been elected. And we are going to have an engagement, a follow up engagement with them to make sure how the company can be turned around. Mm. But what is, was also quite interesting for us during the week was the previous chairperson of Steinhoff is suing now Steinhoff for 59 billion rand. And I think that is just totally you know, unacceptable <laughs> for us. And yeah. that's the reason why the trade unions have to be more proactive and that we have to engage these processes in a proactive manner. And, and, and Dennis, with those engagements that you've had concurrently with the PIC, are you getting any indication that they will disclose all the answers that you've been looking for? Yes, look, the, 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 the report of the auditing company that's been appointed to investigate it, and yeah. according to the AGM report, more than 300,000 documents have been scanned, mm -hmm. you know, and been gone through. And we also got minutes of the board meetings that was held. So it was quite clear to us that there were people that was totally defrauding the company by overstating value of a particular asset. What? So if that computer that's in front of you is worth two rand, and you're going to say now it's worth 10 rand, you know, what, what it actually means, that is the kind of assets that we are saying that they were over pricing mm. and therefore and it has not just been for the last two years it could have been must go back uh, a, m a few years more mm. but then dennis what's the point of having these auditors if they're going to inflate the prices if if if, the, if, if that's what i'm understanding exactly, you're saying here exactly that's the reason why we had a system of price water mm. scoopers with the guptas because they are supposed to be the line of defense absolutely they are supposed to come and check the books you're supposed to also have an internal audit committee and if all these kind of leaders that surf on those structures and i'm not talking just about the public sector i'm also talking about the private sector absolutely yeah. it is becoming a serious problem and that's the reason why ethical leadership mm -hmm. is critical and it's also important that we must rotate because remember some of these auditing firms stay auditing firms for a very long time and that's the reason why we feel that the period for them to be changed over must be two years mm -hmm. and that we must also bring worker directors on the boards of companies mm -hmm. you would remember there was a time when workers were very proud to say no i'm working for that company absolutely or that yeah. is my company yeah. the gap between the workers and their own company now has been so big because a lot of CEOs came in and they would normally try to reward themselves very well. Yeah. I mean, in the SABC was the same situation yeah. with Mr. Slaudi that was here and they would all do all kinds of funny corporate mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And that is very important for the trade union to play that proactive role. Um, but we can be very lucky because we've got a very progressive constitution. But we need to get our agencies to go after these people that have made themselves guilty of fraud and corruption. Mm. Are, are, are there, let's talk about what the, the responsibilities of the members are, because I'm sure a lot of them are not even aware that they're being defrauded. I mean, we understand that you guys also as the unions are the representatives. What is that kind of engagement that you're giving to your members at this stage, particularly on this matter? Look, look first of all, you must remember the PIC is a massive 
uh, uh, asset management company. I mean, the amount of money that they invest on a stock exchange is huge. Mm -hmm. But they must also play a more proactive role for us to bring more black people and to borrow more money to black people. You know, if you look at the statistics, how many white firms benefit and how many black firms benefit, yeah. that is a problem for us because we can't be 24 years into a democracy and our economy is still be controlled, you know, by mostly white firms. Mm. And that's the reason why um, we were also a bit, you know, set back about the ruling of the court that 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 said, you know, the principle of once in power and always in power, yeah. you know, should be scrapped. But we think that we must review all those policies because it's important that we must bring more black people into the economy. Absolutely. And Dennis, before I let you go, don't you feel there should be maybe a regulatory body? Because what we're getting here, as you said, all those structures with the auditors, it's not bearing any fruitful fruit. I mean, uh, if we had a body that was uh, to, to, to report directly to the AG's office. Yes, look, let me give you, we, I've already written a letter on behalf of a DUSA. Mm -hmm. and of labor that we want the minister of finance and the minister of public enterprises yeah. they must appoint worker directors on the boards of state-owned companies but we also want to make sure that we appoint worker directors on the PIC because once you're on the board of these particular institutions then you can make sure that those policies are implemented in a proper way Absolutely. and that is the first area for us that's very important and we look forward to see that government is going to engage with us in a positive manner. Thank you so much, Mr. George. Go home and enjoy the rest of your Freedom Day today. That was Mr. Dennis George of Fedusa, who is the Secretary General, talking to us about uh, their quest uh, to meet and, of course, engage with the PIC. Let's take a quick ad break. More news in a short while.